When most people think about Mockport, Indiana, they usually think about Morgan's Raid. In which Indiana was invaded by over 2,000 Confederate soldiers, July 8, 1863. It has certainly left a lasting mark on the town of Mockport, Indiana, as well as the rest of southern Indiana. Stand by for an epic story. Confederate General John Hunt Morgan and his men made one of the most daring assaults of the Civil War, creating mass hysteria in every town along the way. General Morgan brought a huge, imposing cavalry unit along with artillery. This campaign is now known as Morgan's Raid. On July 7th, 1863, Morgan's men captured two steamboats in order to move his raiders from Kentucky to Indiana. First, they captured the John P. McCombs. They then used that steamboat to board the much larger Alice Dean seen here. The next day, on July 8th, soldiers, horses, artillery and supplies started the move to Indiana soil with numerous trips on the Alice Dean. They arrived at Morvin's Landing just east of the town of Mockport. A heavily armed gunboat and the Harrison County Guard tried to reject Morgan's raiders but soon realized they were greatly outgunned and outnumbered and fled to regroup. The citizens of Mockport abandoned the town and headed west. By the end of the day, the Confederates were staged to move north into Indiana's heartland. Morgan's second in command, Basil Wilson Duke, was friends of the owner and captain of the John B. McCombs steamboat. Basil was also Morgan's brother-in-law, having married his sister, Henrietta. So when Basil asked that the John B. McCombs be spared, it was. But after Morgan's men were finished with the Alice Dean, they set it on fire and let it sink into the Ohio River. It had only been in service for four months. The Alice Dean cost $60,000 to build. That's about $1.2 million in today's money. The Raiders would move north to Corridon in the only significant Civil War battle in Indiana. Then, New Salisbury, Salem, Vernon, and eventually left the state for Ohio where they were caught by Union forces. But Mockport was changed forever. North of Mockport and south of downtown Corridon is the Battle of Corridon Park, where the only battle of the Civil War in Indiana happened. Hasty fortifications were assembled by Harrison County citizens along the road they knew Morgan would take. The Home Guard waited and had a superior position against soldiers on horses. But in the end, it was all about numbers. 
overwhelmed by Morgan's 2,000 plus raiders. The battle was over in less than an hour. But the Harrison County Guard didn't go down without a fight. Eleven Confederates were killed and 40 were wounded. Eight Harrison County Guards perished and only four were wounded. Morgan's men fired a cannon shot over the town of Corridon before entering the town. They paraded their Harrison County Guard prisoners around the Corridon Square in humiliation. Morgan threatened to burn down the town and mills, if not paid a dear ransom. But after looting and obtaining supplies, the raiders left as swiftly as they came. Generations of Southern Indiana Hoosiers have been told the story since the Civil War, and no doubt would never let it happen again. Once a good-sized port along the Ohio River, the Mockport Wharf was destroyed in 1905 when the Ohio River was frozen solid. Much of the waterfront is now camping areas, and for good reasons. The Great Flood of 1937 decimated the town. Very few historic buildings now exist. The post office has been around since the 1850s. And the 1907 United Methodist Church is still a beautiful fixture of the town. But the memory of Morgan's Raiders and the Alice Dean Steamboat are as vivid as ever. At the River Bottom Inn, there's a steamboat mural. The town hall has a riverboat for its logo. And in the town park, on top of the shelter, is a special bell. It was given to the town by the grateful owners of another steamboat, the Gray Eagle. As the story goes, Jacob Sherman saw Morgan's men capture the Alice Dean. He then jumped on a horse and rode west kind of like Paul Revere, to warn any ships coming east. Jacob was able to warn the Gray Eagle steamboat, and they turned around. The bell has been here since 1863. And if you look behind the fire station, you'll find a mural depicting the Alice Dean. The Alice Dean had a side paddle wheel and was 182 feet long. It had four decks and was over 880 tons. It was a sizable ship. But you might ask, as others have, what happened to the Alice Dean after it sank? The boat's machinery was salvaged back in the 1860s. But after about 160 years, 
the Alice Dean is still under the Ohio River at Mockport, Indiana. It's 32 feet below the surface, give or take. 880 tons didn't just go away. And here's a fun fact. In August of 1959, a towboat accident at the Leavenworth Dam, which is west of Mockport, lowered the Ohio River by five feet, exposing the Alice Dean to the light of day. Many people took wooden parts of the boat for souvenirs. In 1965, the Heath Civic Club hired a crane to pull the ship out of the water. While unsuccessful, several truckloads of wood were recovered. Being of historic and local interest, the shipwreck was officially located with sonar on May 14, 2014, and was transferred to the custody of the U.S. Navy. It is thus protected by the Sunken Military Crafts Act of 1947, but it's still there. Will someone ever raise the Alice Dean and put it in a museum? Probably not. But to know that a major piece of Indiana history sits hidden just below the surface of the Ohio River is a pretty interesting thing. And for the people of Mockport, it will certainly never be forgotten. If you have the time, go across the bridge from Mockport to Brandenburg, Kentucky. You'll find more history about Morgan's Raid. Simply take the first road left after leaving the bridge, which is Lawrence Street or 228. This is the house where General Morgan set up his command post. It had a perfect high up view of the Ohio River and Morvan's Landing. If you keep going east and take your first left on Broadway, and the next left on Main Street, you'll end up along the Ohio River. This is where Morgan's men used the Alice Dean to move over 2,000 soldiers to Indiana. It's now a park with a beautiful waterfront. A Confederate monument stands where the raid was launched. Morgan's raid is a story of one man's obsession. An obsession to invade the North against his commander's wishes, against huge obstacles, and against the practicality of what raiding Indiana and Ohio would actually accomplish. Morgan was captured, escaped, and eventually killed by Union forces, ending his ill-fated quest. To some, he died a hero, and to others, a madman's vision of glory was finally put to rest. A beautiful mural details the Alice Dean, among other famous steamboats and local history. An 
and on a beautiful day, it's a wonderful place to just soak up the sun along the Ohio River. Imagine another time and appreciate the peace we've had for nearly 160 years. Remembering what happened, Americans fighting Americans, and vowing to never let it happen again.